This video includes a paid sponsorship from Span, but I'll talk more about that later. First deliveries of the Tesla Cybertruck should be happening this summer, and although it won't be the first electric truck to market, based on what we know so far, it appears obvious to me that it'll clearly be the best electric truck on the market. However, in addition to dominating just the EV truck space, I believe in the coming years that the Cybertruck is going to start taking some serious market share away from gas burning and diesel burning trucks as well. So let's dive into a number of key features and do some comparisons to show why the Cybertruck is going to be such a dominating force in the truck industry. I'm John and this is Cleaner Watt. It's been over three years since the Cybertruck was revealed back in late 2019, which has given Tesla additional time to refine the truck and make it better before it actually hits the market in the next few months. As Matthew Donegan Ryan recently shared in a great Twitter thread, Tesla has been able to benchmark the competition and from what Tesla staff told Matthew, they appear to be very confident in the feature set of the truck as compared to the competition. While there will be no doubt a number of surprises once the Cybertruck hits the market thanks to a number of leaks and details that have been shared by various members in the Tesla community, we actually have a pretty good idea of what to expect, at least on a basic level from the Cybertruck. And I believe when you add up all the information that we know about the Cybertruck, it all points to the fact that the Cybertruck is going to dominate the truck space. I believe even more than some people think. And after all, Tesla always brings out amazing vehicles. And I believe that the Cybertruck will be even better than Tesla initially promised. Now, as we dive into this topic, I do have to briefly talk about the design of the truck itself. Yes, it does have a wedge shape and it looks different than anything else on the road but I believe that's actually going to be something that helps it sell well because when you see this thing on the road, it's going to be its own marketing billboard in a sense. People are gonna see it and uh, for those who are not aware what the truck is, they're going to ask about it and look into it and it's gonna catch people's attention. Yes, some people won't like it and some people don't like the design, but a lot of people do like the design and something different like this is going to catch people's attention. In addition, as we dive into various specs, I believe the specs will win over those who are maybe on the fence with the design because what you're going to get with this Cybertruck is going to be incredible as compared to not only other electric trucks, but trucks in general. Now, in addition to that wedge shape, one of the first and most obvious ways that the Cybertruck will be superior to any other truck on the market will be the durability of its stainless steel exterior. We know based on a tweet from Elon Musk and also a recently published patent application from Tesla that the Cybertruck exoskeleton will be made from a custom stainless steel alloy that the Tesla team has engineered to be extremely durable and corrosion resistant. Unlike other trucks which have paint that can chip, scratch, or the body can be easily dented, the Cybertruck exterior won't have paint and the stainless steel is going to be very, very tough and dent and scratch resistant. Now on the topic of Cybertruck and paint, I do wanna just step back for a second and address something that's been going around the Tesla community. As some people have noted, on Tesla's career page, they are hiring for some paint-related positions for the Cybertruck. However, based on recent comments from Tesla's chief designer, Franz von Holzhausen, I don't believe this to be the case at all, and I believe this is a wrong conclusion uh, from these job postings. I wanna dive into those comments and talk about why I don't believe the Tesla Cybertruck will be offered in other colors other than stainless steel, just straight stainless steel. But before I do that, I want to introduce the sponsor of today's video. Thanks to Span for sponsoring this video. If you are thinking about installing a solar and a battery backup system, or if you currently have such a system, you definitely need to check out Span. Unlike traditional electrical panels, the Span Smart Panel allows you to monitor and track your energy usage and solar generation remotely through an easy to use iOS or Android app. Also, when combined with a battery backup system like a Tesla Powerwall, it can help you extend your battery backup time by somewhere around 40% on average. Find out more and get a quote at span.io or click the link in the video description. And if you do fill out that form to get a quote, make sure that you put CleanerWatt in the comments section so Span knows that I sent you. 
Earlier this year, Franz was interviewed by Ryan McCaffrey, which is a host of the Ride the Lightning podcast, and a good portion of their conversation revolved around the Cybertruck's stainless steel exterior. During that interview, Franz did discuss the fact that they did experiment with some different finishes on the Cybertruck. However, despite experimenting with some finishes, Franz said, quote, and anytime you put something softer, like a clear coat or a painted finish on the material, it just then basically takes away from the idea of putting the hardest thing on the outer surface. Franz then concluded, quote, we have played around with some finishes, but right now the stainless is the winner. So if the Cybertruck's not going to have paint options, why is Tesla hiring for Cybertruck paint positions? Well, I believe that this tweet from Ryan FSD Hansen on Twitter answers this. And on this topic, Ryan wrote, all these Tesla folks going nuts over Cybertruck paint position openings don't realize that there are other internal parts that need painting too. This has got me rolling. Literally the entire BIW, which is body in white, has to be dipped and coated. Bumpers, painted. The bed, painted. Chassis parts, painted. And if not painted, anodized aluminum or powder coated steel. They might be putting a clear coat on the stainless body panels. If so, that technically counts as paint. So I don't know about you, but that's enough information for me to be confident that the Tesla Cybertruck will not be offered in various paint colors, but just the stainless steel exterior, which once again is really a benefit of this truck because of how durable it's going to be. Okay, now moving on. The Tesla Cybertruck is going to be a very practical, functional, full-size truck that will be able to seat five passengers and still have a large bed that is actually larger than other comparable trucks. I covered this in a past video, but once again, I want to bring up some of what Matthew Donegan Ryan wrote in a recent Twitter thread about the Tesla Cybertruck. And in this thread, he compared the dimensions of a recent Cybertruck prototype to the F-150 Raptor Super Crew with 35 inch tires. And as you can see, the size of these trucks is actually quite similar. When you compare these Cybertruck dimensions to other trucks on the market that I believe are direct competitors like the F-150 Lightning, the Rivian R1T, the Hummer EV truck, and also the Ram TRX, you can see the Cybertruck is very similarly sized to these other full-size trucks. However, when it comes to the usability of the back bed, it actually is longer with a tailgate up than these competitors. So in the end, customers are looking for not only a truck that can seat five passengers, but also have a long enough bed to be practical. I believe the Cybertruck with the extra length of the bed and the ability once again to be able to put a sheet of plywood because of the width between the, uh, the back wheelhouses there. I believe the Cybertruck is going to be a very practical choice for many people because of this. Now, once again, on the topic of the size of the Cybertruck, it's a big truck. And big vehicles often have bad turning radiuses. They can't turn in tight areas. And this can be impractical um, when you're trying to get around town. However, um, we know that the Tesla Cybertruck is going to offer four wheel steering. And based on what Matthew Donegan Ryan wrote, apparently all variants of the Cybertruck will offer four wheel steering, which should allow the Cybertruck to steer very tightly. When it comes to just how tightly the Cybertruck will be able to turn, Matthew Donegan Ryan recently tweeted out a video that was put out by the Kilowatts showing the Cybertruck turning very tightly into a parking lot. And Elon Musk replied to that saying, perhaps better than Y in turning. If this ends up being the case that the turning radius is actually better than the Model Y, this is very impressive because the Cybertruck is much bigger than the Model Y. Now the Model Y turning radius is around 19.9 feet. When you compare a turning radius of under 19.9 feet, once again, if the Cybertruck can beat the Model Y when it comes to turning radius, that will beat most trucks on the market. And I believe it's very possible that Tesla will be able to get this turning radius down to either match or beat the Hummer EV truck, which with four wheel steering enabled is able to have a turning radius of 18.55 feet. Nonetheless, when it comes to practicality, this four wheel steering will come in handy. It's not just a trick that looks cool on the road, but it actually makes a big difference in the usability of a truck. Next, let's talk about range. If Tesla is able to hit that 500 plus mile uh, target that they mentioned back when they revealed the Cybertruck, that will be dominating in the EV truck space because the Hummer EV truck offers up to 350 plus miles. The Rivian R1T, if you get that max pack, offers up to 400 miles of range. And the Ford F-150 Lightning offers up to 320 miles of EPA rated range. And when it comes to electric trucks, range is especially crucial because if you have a very heavy payload or if you're towing uh, quite a bit of weight, that's going to bring down your range. So if you can start out with 500 plus miles of range, if you're towing a heavy load, it's very possible that you could still get over 200 miles 
of range. And so that's going to make the Cybertruck very practical over the competition, even in heavy duty environments, once again, like towing and big payloads over the competition. And if Tesla can hit this, this is gonna make the Tesla Cybertruck shine as compared to the competition. Another huge benefit of the Cybertruck over other trucks comes down to the locking rear vault. The decently large Cybertruck rear bed has a built-in retractable cover that will allow owners to keep their equipment securely locked in and secure. In addition, when you shut that cover, the sloping shape will give extra height at the back of the bed as compared to other truck bed covers, which are just simply flat. So that's gonna be a huge benefit on the job site. And in addition, like some other trucks have, the Cybertruck is going to have a built-in air compressor and also AC outlets as well. So it's gonna be a truly practical work truck. For those who are into off-roading, I believe the Tesla Cybertruck will be a very capable off-roading truck as well. Back when Tesla revealed the Cybertruck, they listed a few important off-roading specs for the Cybertruck. They listed the ground clearance as up to 16 inches, the approach angle as 35 degrees, and the departure angle as 28 degrees. And when you compare those 2019 numbers to the competition in 2023, while still impressive, that would not put the Cybertruck at the top of the pack. However, once again, Tesla released those numbers back in 2019. Tesla has been benchmarking the competition, so I believe it's very possible that the Cybertruck, when it actually comes out, will have numbers better than the Hummer EV truck because Tesla wants to be the best on the road, I believe. One of the things that leads me to believe this comes down to some images that were shared in a 2020 Tesla patent application. And in this application, there were a number of user interface screenshots that were shared. And you can see here that in this shot, they have the suspension listed here at a 20 inch level. So obviously that's four inches higher than what Tesla mentioned previously. And this might just be a placeholder here on this UI shot. However, it's very possible that Tesla was hinting at the fact that they're going to surpass the numbers that they mentioned previously. So if they're able to do that, that would allow the Tesla Cybertruck to actually probably be at the top of this pack. And I believe it's going to be a very formidable um, off-roading truck for that reason, but also it appears like the air suspension system is going to be very beefy and strong as well. Once again, in that Twitter thread by Matthew Donegan Ryan, Ryan wrote, air suspension standard. They have tested it for Baja style terrain racing. I asked if they have jumped it and staff said they have tested it fully and have no fear it won't hold up. Matthew added, Sandy Monroe told me the air suspension cylinders are the biggest he's ever seen. They are bigger than the ones available on Ram trucks. So the Cybertruck should have a very beefy, strong, capable air suspension system. And in addition to being useful off-road, it's going to give the Cybertruck a very smooth ride on the road. It'll allow you to lower the vehicle on the highway to get increased efficiency. If you put a bunch of heavy weight in the back of the truck, it should be able to load balance and keep you from squatting. And it should have a mode where you can squat the back down while you're loading things into the back of the truck to make it easier to load. Another way that the Tesla Cybertruck is going to dominate other electric trucks and really bring it closer on par with the practicality of a gas truck comes down to the speed of charging. At the Tesla Semi Pepsi delivery event, Elon Musk mentioned that the Cybertruck would have V4 supercharging capability. It was also mentioned that their V4 superchargers would be able to charge up to one megawatt plus of DC charging, which should be able to make the Tesla Cybertruck the fastest charging Tesla yet, especially since it will have a large battery pack. And when it comes to miles being added per minute of charging, since the Cybertruck will likely be quite efficient for its size, and I believe its shape is actually more aerodynamic than you might think, I believe the Cybertruck will be much more practical than other electric trucks on the market, even in instances when you are towing heavy loads, because if you have a really long range of a very efficient truck and you're able to charge extremely fast, I believe there's not going to be a big penalty in driving the Cybertruck versus a gas or diesel truck when it comes to practicality. Now, so far I've been talking about features, but I do want to briefly talk about how many Cybertrucks I believe Tesla will be able to sell per year. Now, when you look at how many reservations Tesla has, Tesla very likely has over 1.5 million reservations for the Cybertruck. So there's obviously a huge amount of demand there. When it comes to the best selling pickup truck in the United States, for the last 46 years, the F-150 has held that spot as a best selling pickup truck in the US market. And for the last 41 years, it has also been the best selling overall vehicle in the US as well. I believe that the Cybertruck will uh, actually take a dent out of this and shake the truck market up because if you look at what the Model Y has been able to do in the broader market, that vehicle is selling extremely well, outselling a lot of other gas vehicles and is quickly going up the charts. 
and could one day be um, right there near the top of that list when it comes to best-selling vehicles. Um, so the Model Y is showing what can be done even with a slightly more expensive vehicle, an electric vehicle. And I believe the Cybertruck will do the same thing. It's going to completely shake up the truck market and it's going to be a dominating force. Will it be able to surpass forward in the future, I think it's very possible. And a lot of that's going to depend not on the F-150 Lightning, but on Ford's next generation truck. Really how impressive that truck's going to be because I believe that's going to be the one to beat. In a March 24th Ford press release, Ford mentioned that they are preparing for their next generation electric truck and their project code name is Project T3 and they hope to have this truck in production in 2025. Apparently Ford with this new truck hopes to have a more aerodynamic truck and one that is going to be a little more simple to build. And so hopefully this will help this truck be a little bit more competitive with the Cybertruck. It will be interesting to see how this happens. And if Ford can maintain their leadership status in trucks as the market moves to electric, or if the Cybertruck will take over that spot, I would love to hear from you what you think about that in the comment section below. Lastly, before I wrap all this up, I just want to briefly talk about pricing. Now, back in 2019, when Tesla revealed the Cybertruck, they did talk about pricing. However, it's been quite a few years since then, and prices have changed on a lot of different products. I believe the Cybertruck will be more expensive than Tesla initially thought it would be back in 2019, but I believe it will be very competitive or maybe even cheaper than vehicles like the Ford F-150 Lightning. The price of the Ford F-150 Lightning has been going up since it was launched, and now the base pro model even starts at around $60,000 and the platinum trim at almost $100,000. One of the big reasons why I believe the Cybertruck is going to actually beat the Ford F-150 Lightning in cost comes down to the way it was engineered because the Tesla Cybertruck was actually engineered for manufacturing efficiency. It's going to have underbody castings like the Model Y. The stainless steel exterior is not going to need to be painted, so you save on the paint cost. They won't have to stamp all those body parts, but they're just going to be able to bend the stainless steel in shape. And in the long term, I believe that's going to be cheaper than doing it other ways. And so when you add all this up together, I believe that the Cybertruck is going to offer an amazing value and it's going to beat out the competition when it comes to price. And that's once again going to be a key feature of why I believe that the Cybertruck is really going to dominate the space, especially as we move to more and more electric trucks and as the market moves away from gas and diesel trucks. In the end, I believe the Tesla Cybertruck will reach a broader audience than a lot of people think because it's going to draw not only from existing truck buyers, which in the US, that's a very large group of buyers, but also it's going to reach a broader market because a lot of people are gonna want the Cybertruck that probably did not consider a truck before and they'll find ways to use a truck because it's going to be an amazing truck with incredible features. So I'd love to hear from you what you think about that in the comments section below. How well do you think the Cybertruck will actually sell when it hits the market? And do you think it will be able to surpass the Ford F-150 as a leader when it comes to the best selling truck in the United States at some point? in the future. Let me know in the comments section below. I'd like to say once again, thank you to Span for sponsoring this video. And also, once again, thank you to those of you who support me on Patreon. Your monthly support makes a big difference and really helps make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up and how you can support my work, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.